Hello everybody and welcome to another episode oh, of Mix Mark. And in today's episode we're going to be taking a little look at the Honda Lacia that came in a little while ago. I hear. You're yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, Riley boys here. Quick sip of your coffee. And so today mm. we reach our dinosaur. We're going to FaceTime Brandon out and show you. Out. We're going to have a bit the of a, we're going to have a bit of a uh, family moment this afternoon, a bit of a FaceTime because of the old restrictions. So we've got the Honda Lacia coming back in. That's the one that had the rusted deck, engine transplant, all the rest of it did it all up and running. The only one thing with it is that the throttle arm, the governor arm, is, is locked solid. Now the engine runs exactly how it, sh how it should do. Um, it starts, it runs, it does everything it should do. But I can't adjust the throttle. And it's just not right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at the carburetor. I've got a feeling the carburetor arm is just a bit seized, potentially. There is a real risk that um, I get this, this engine running and uh, get the governor arm loose and it, and it won't run properly. That's the risk. Um, and the Hondas can be a bit like that. So it may be that someone's actually rigged it to stay there, but we'll have a little look when we get a bit closer involved. It'd be carburetor off, all that sort of good stuff. Have a little look at it, see what we can do. Um, doesn't need cleaning because the carburetor actually is, is a fully functional carburetor, but it's something not right with the governor arm and that's what I want to investigate. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mouse, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set your notifications to all, and that will tell you that one, I've either done a video or two, and I'm on my Saturday night weekly live stream that starts at 6 o'clock UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and let's get dirty and let's check out this little tiny Honda lawnmower. Right, here it is, and um, as I say, it's all running as it should do, but this governor arm seems to be sea solid. There's a lot of leaflet behind here. I don't think that's a cause. Just seems to be there's nothing adjustment-wise to be had here. It's just not doing what it should be doing. So it could be a quick little video. It may all be for nothing, but I just thought I'd document it. Um, it's content for the channel. You just never know. So this one I've got running the other week, as you know. And uh, it was a bit mucky. Oh my lord, <laughs> stay at that filter. Let's try to keep all of this out of my car better where I can. But stay to that one. Even got a mothball in there. Look at stay to that. Is that all cleaning up? Um, no dirt in there. I am seeing a rather bent, a rather bent um, rod. Is probably not helping that shouldn't be bent like that let's get it stripped down so you guys can see what i'm looking at but there, i think there's a bit of an issue could be someone's bent this to make it work that's that's what i'm suspecting so let's have a little look let's get a long lead on long long extension bar on it's going to be about an eight mil on there i dare say so let's put a reducer on eight mil and a socket and let's uh, let's have this off so I've not even investigated this yet. It was running, but it's, it's, it's just not running right. And we'll see what we can find. I'm not even convinced it's choking right. You see, that, that's the problem. So it could just be a bit of a cleanup is required. There's nothing worse than taking something apart. Remember the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, this is working. Definitely working, but it ain't working right. So some of you may say, oh, I'll leave it alone, leave it be. Let's take that off. Give me a little air breather pipe in the back there somewhere. Gasket's starting to fail, but we'll probably get away with it. Bear with, I might have a bit of gasket with me. There it goes, what we've got going on here. What we got occurring? Take the air breather pipe off. Yeah, gasket is starting to fail. I haven't got a spare though, so I have to be a bit careful with that one. That all had to go back as it was. Look at all this lot. Look at it. And we've got a big bent bar just here. See how that's bent? Let me get a bit closer. Well, I've got you zoomed in as much as I can um, without getting you too close. I've got the air in the old compressor. I think I've got a bit of air in there. Just enough to do the task without having to fire the old compressor up. Just about enough. I'll get a bit of blue roll. Just so I can put it in the carburetor throat. So I don't get any more um, 
dirt inside the carburetor because the carburetor is actually working. And before I do anything, I want to just adjust this throttle so I can actually see if this is actually working on the choke itself. But we should see. A little tiny bit of something in there just to try and minimise the risk of getting anything inside that carburetor. This engine is absolutely caked in stuff, look at it. Absolutely caked. Let me try and poke something in there just to, just to try and stop it from collecting anything. It's a glorious day, but, the, but it is a bit windy. So I might have to take this pull cord off because it is absolutely caked in here. So a bit of an air compressor, I'm trying to blow some stuff off here. Look at it. All right, I'm gonna have to fire my compressor up because uh, it needs a, a, a quite a solid blast off. Okay, bit of a clean off. So now we can see what's exactly going on here. And it looks like there's a couple of bits missing. So number one, there should be a rod coming from here, coming either back to here or back to here. This rod is, is, is bent. I dare say because this is probably jammed and that's bent that up. So I can see, yeah, that's stiff. Although it will, there you go, it will go. So it has got a bit of movement in it. So to straighten that up, that's now starting to loosen up now. I'll put a bit of squirt on there. Just to try and help it on its way. Yeah, you can see how, how it's forced. And push it all the way around. So it is now starting to starting to go. It's very, very stiff though. It is it is going though, it's starting to loosen up. So let's push that rod back down straight to where it should be. Just move it somewhere there. <coughs> and now we have a nearly working throttle. It wants a bit of work. I'll get my air compressor, blow it all off, <coughs> and just start to uh, get it to work as it should do. It's just there, starting just, just, to, just to bind. That bit's working fine, but it's not actually going all the way back. And what's happened is someone's forced it, and it's now started to, uh, to bend. So an air compressor onto there. Um, that has now got the governor arm 60% working. Just a touch more of it goes, it's starting to go now. There you go, now it's starting to go. So yeah, I'll compress that off. So that will start to work as it should do, which is good, but there's a bit missing. Here to here, here to here, or here to here. But don't forget, I've got a donor engine, um, which one that had no compression. So I have a, a complete engine, but hopefully has a parts on that I need. So let me go and find it in a mower store. Um, see what I can find. If it's got the bit I need, I'm in the winner. Right, so now we're back. I've been to the old mower store and I've found the bits I need. It is missing some bits. I've just given that a blow off of an air compressor and as you can see now, that's pretty much there. That's doing what it should be doing. Okay, so happy with that. Um, so number two, it's missing two bits. It's missing this arm, which goes onto there and comes back onto here, okay? Now there is a little tiny bend in here, which I'm gonna leave for now, because I believe that to be to be true. And then we've got this little tiny device here. Now this should, I sort of forgotten which way around it went. So it's gonna be a bit of trial and error, but I'm guessing, and this is a guess, this may come off two or three times yet. That's gonna clip in. Into there if I can get it to go, get it to fit. Like so, it's nearly there. Get in there. Come on, baby. Slide in there. 
that's it, right, that's now gone in. So I need to just figure out which way around it goes. Because that arm will, go, will be pushed up when it's asking for choke and it should be pulled back off of a gutter. I think it goes like so. And then this little chappy goes into there. And then when I set it to choke on the top assembly, which is all the way back, I believe, that arm should go there, that should go onto there, and that's now locked into place. So that should be set to throttle, sorry. And when I ask it to choke, this should slide back. The arm should come up from behind here, it's here at the moment. That should come up and push this backwards, asking the carburetor to choke, which is now choking in a choke position there, okay? That's the idea. So let's try that now. There you go, asking for choke and it's got choke. So now we've got a, a choking carburetor and hopefully um, a, a carburetor which will now um, at least idle down. I may have to adjust the idle because that does seem to be quite set quite high to me. It's got more than two or three threads out. I'll leave it for now. Only problem is <coughs> with these Honda, these sort of style carbs, you have to take all that stuff off again to just wind that screw out. You can't get into it, okay? So on top of that, I have also found another filter which is in much better condition than the one I had before. My old one is somewhere, I threw it pretty much somewhere out of the way because it's absolutely full of stuff. Right, now with all of that sort of tidy, I just want to blow this, um, this air filter box out. that off and now I'm going to try and fit this gasket back without it tearing on me I don't oh I have got a spare actually in the um I never mower but I'll try this one first and this has got a little tiny breather pipe and I'm not seeing what oh, goes on there okay it curls around this little tiny breather pipe and take it off goes onto there like so and then sits through that hole here pipe is a little bit solid but it's doable I might just have to slip a little tiny edge off of that Just put a little tiny point on it because it is just a bit hollowed off and a bit rounded at the top end. So if I clip that like so, and then just put a little tiny point on it like so, that should then fit in there much better. Uh, where's my air breather? That goes in there. And that pipe sit down in there. That's it, that's gone white. So that now goes into there. Goes on to there. Happy with that. Yep. Okay. Uh, two eight mil bolts goes on to the engine itself. So I want to get this one done because I want to get get it out and sold. See, it's no good just sitting there waiting waiting for spare parts and whatever. It's got, to, it's got to go out. So I've got to get the service yet. All that sort of good stuff. It's had it already had the oil changed, done to it. And the blade sharp and the balance because it did as part of the, uh, the engine swap, so it's partially done. You could do have a new spark plug. So I'm just going to whip that on there now. I know that some people have been asking questions about these little um, GV100 as where the springs go, so hopefully that clears it up. Because you don't have a spring, you've got this, one, this little kitty here, that one there. Right, that's all on. Air filter is much cleaner than the old one. Uh, it's like a puzzle, isn't it? Goes that way. That goes in there. So that's a much better filter. 
And then we've got the little tiny case, which is here. And we, the one on the other engine is actually broken, so that's good. I've got a, a working one. That all goes onto there. That all goes onto there. Now, can I get to that screw? I might better get to a screw with a long reach screwdriver to back it off if need be. But I think we're pretty much done. We've now got a carburetor, which was working beforehand, but it wasn't revving, it wasn't idling, which it, which it now it now is. It's doing what it should be doing there. So that's good. Um, and hopefully it, it'll all work as it should do. Yeah, that, that's working lovely. So we'll have a look. The idea is, is to get this machine to now at least um, start up when it's asked to. It was starting, but it took a few pulls, um, but it wasn't actually choking itself, that's why. Um, because it's missing uh, missing the arm. So now we've got the choke set up. The throttle arm is and the governor arm is now um, working as it should do. It wasn't even moving beforehand. So hopefully we can get this machine to start on choke, rev at full revs, and idle down to tick to tick over. That's the idea. Hopefully it'll work. If it don't, mm, then it don't. But we'll see what happens. Right, so you may be experiencing a little bit of wind. Um, only problem is with my new GoPro 7 is I don't, as of yet, uh, have a microphone for it. I'm working on it. Um, the one I want is quite expensive um, to give you guys quality audio. So uh, in the meantime, uh, no microphone, so you'll get a little bit of wind interference. Just can't odds it, you have to bear with me until I pick one up. So let's try and fire it up then. We're looking for this lawnmower to start pretty much first or second pull on choke. And then hopefully it'll, um, it'll rev at full revs and then also idle down. That's what I'm looking for. That way um, I can sell it as a uh, fully functioning and uh, we'll see how we get on. So that's that um, little Honda lawnmower or little Honda engine now running, absolutely sweet as that. Initially, it did rev quite high. I think it's just where that throttle arm needs just a little bit of work. It just needs to be used quite often just to um, get it um, get it moving. I've got some three and one up here. I might bang a bit of three and one around just to help it. Just just keep running that throttle arm backwards and forwards. But it now revs up um, as it sh as it should do. It idles right back as far as it would go and ticks over beautifully. And also it goes on to choke as well. And I think it started first pull, not quite sure. It's had a new pull cord on it. It's had um, all change done. It's had blade shot and bounce. Just requires a spark plug. I'll give the air filter a quick blow off as well. So it's nice and clean. And that little lawnmower can be up, up and sold. And um, all in all, that um, lawnmower had, you know, was, was destined for only one place. Um, it was destined for a tip. And without a doubt, we have, we have saved another lawnmower um, from going into a landfill site and possibly not even being recycled. 
Um, and there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, it's knocking on an age and it don't win no prizes for the best looking lawnmower in the world, but do you know what? It'll do someone a turn. So, super, super happy. If this is your first time I'm watching Mixed Mowers, hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell, set notification to all. That way you'll be told one, I've done a video or two, I'm on my Saturday night weekly live stream between 6 o'clock p.m. UK time to roughly about 9, 10 o'clock, somewhere in there. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It helps towards the growth of my channel. And uh, don't forget to leave any comments you've got down below in the bottom section there. Positive or negative, don't really mind. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Mixed Mowers very, very soon. But to my people, don't forget, more importantly, take her easy.